guys, it's Allie with your book horoscope. I just got home from work and now we're going to the grocery store because my life is full of adventure and mystery. And I didn't start any of my reading last night like I was going to. But, you know, I should start tonight if grocery shopping doesn't fully exhaust me. Because, you know, I'm so used to all this adventure. Anyway, say hi to Eddie. So, off we go. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you recording? Of course I had to stop by the book aisle. And just check it out. I like to support my local bookstore. But since I'm here grocery shopping, I might as well look and see if I want anything. Alright, so... We got back from the grocery store, made dinner, steak and potatoes, delicious. And instead of reading, me and Eddie are watching 90 Day Fiance because we're super obsessed and I'm a terrible, terrible readathon person. But I plan to read sometime tonight, probably before I go to bed. So you won't know anything about the book I'm reading. You'll just know that I'm supposed to be reading. Yay! I'm strong with the motivation. <sighs> Don't judge me. Alright, it's about 9 o'clock at night, and I still haven't started reading today. But, I did get my Book of the Month box in today. So, I'm just going to open that. Um, because it's the most exciting thing that's happened all day. Luckily, I have a knife here. Um... Really, who let me be a part of a readathon? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's upside down. Ooh! So I just became a book of the month BFF, which means I've been a part of it for long enough to get a free tote bag. I don't know why I get so excited about tote bags. I don't think I've ever used a tote bag in my life. Maybe twice. But honestly, I love totes. And now I have a tote bag from Book of the Month. And it has a pocket for your book. Because I'm that cool now. And I think this means I also get a free book on my birthday. And I think I get a free Book of the Month pick out of the whole year. I'll have to look it up. I was just excited about it. I thought about not doing book of the month because our town just got a bookstore. Yes, we're that small of a town. We're getting a bookstore is a thing. And there's only one. Um, that was a highlight of our town. Um, but because it's a small town bookstore, I'm going to keep it. And plus, well, I just became a BFF. I can't stop now. This month, I picked an interesting read. I picked The Water Dancer. I could probably use a knife to open this. I could probably use my fingers, but I feel cooler if I use a knife. Unless I can't get it open, then I do not feel cooler. Um, get away. Get away from yourself. That's the only thing I know about knives. I got the water dancer and if you look at the author's name you can attempt to say it yourself because I haven't had time to look up how to say his name and I don't want to try. I'm guessing his last name is Coates or her last name. Picture? His last name. I was right. This book is about a man named Hiram Walker, born into bondage. When his mother sold away, Hiram was robbed of all memory of her, but was gifted with a mysterious power. Years later, when Hiram almost drowns in the river, the same power saves his life. This brush with death bursts an urgency in Hiram and a daring scheme to escape from the only home he's ever known. So begins an unexpected journey. There's more. But what really got me was the book of the month description where it was super in-depth. 
challenging me and I couldn't stop myself when I heard it was a challenge because I enjoy a challenge. Like the Sweetathon is a challenge that I am kind of failing. But I still have until Sunday and it's only Wednesday. And weekends are where readathons really show their strength. Everybody knows that. Um, so here's my book of the month. Here's another book that I'm not reading right now. I'm gonna read tonight. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start that book. And then I'm gonna tell you about it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.